my disclosures. So the background is that meniscus allograft transplantation has issues with availability, sizing, and it's also expensive. Furthermore, there have been some previous studies looking at the uh, autograft tendons as meniscus substitution. Already in 1993, Dietekorn presented in the CASTA an animal model where he used patella tendon and later on a patient series using quadriceps tendon. But uh, there are no real data what happened to those patients afterwards. Some 20 years ago, Johnson and Fegan presented five patients who were on a waiting list for total knee replacement. And they did lateral meniscus substitution using four CMIT, a single stranded and one patella tendon, but all failed. But that's maybe not so strange since they all were on a waiting list for total knee and had severe OA. A couple of years ago, Melanin reported two cases where he used uh, the perineus longus for lateral transplant with a short follow-up. And uh, the results were uh, okay. The hypothesis for this study is that the semi-tendinosis tendon could function as a meniscal transplant after total meniscectomy. And we had ethical permission from the Regional Ethics Commi Committee at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. The inclusion criteria was age 20 to 50 years, subtotal or total meniscectomy, and they should all have post meniscectomy symptoms such as pain accelerated with activity or weight bearing. They shouldn't have any OA and Albeck zero was uh, supposed to be graded in all these patients. Alignment, they should be well aligned uh, hip knee angle plus minus three degrees and no persistent ligament insufficiency and if they had an ACL instability we performed an ACL reconstruction or revision. We evaluated the patients with clinical exam, uh, MRI and plain x-rays as well as PROMS, CUS, Lysol, Tegner activity score and uh, global rating score. 0 to 10, where 0 is bad function and 10 is excellent function. The technique I used was harvesting a CMIT tendon. I folded it double and I had a running suture along the double folded tendon and then pull out sutures at both ends and I formed it as a meniscus shaped transplant. Then it was inserted into the knee with the arthroscopic technique similar to uh, MAT uh, fixation of a soft tissue meniscus transplant with bone tunnels and sutured with all inside in the back, inside out in the mid portion and outside in sutures in the anterior horn. Before we started with the patient cases, we did cadaver testing and this is uh, a cadaver where you can see on the right the meniscus substitution is sutured in place. The rehab was similar to meniscus all allograft transplantation with partial weight bearing six weeks, hinged brace for six weeks, it gradually opened over time. Looking at the demographics you can see that there the first seven patients were six females and one male and uh, most of them were medial one lateral at the patient number seven and this lateral case he had a six degrees of varus which was sort of favorable for for him and the other ones had maximum three degrees of uh, varus uh, for the medial transplant I have actually done two more cases uh, now just the last uh, three weeks, one medial and lateral. And as you can see, most of these cases had an ACL reconstruction performed before, which had failed. So in most cases, I actually did a revision ACL reconstruction at the same time as the uh, meniscus transplant. And in these two last cases, I've performed now 
the last uh, three weeks. There has been one with ACL revision, a medial, and then one lateral isolated uh, meniscal substitution. So the results. This is patient number one, where you can see the graft in place to the right. And you can see that I've used this so-called hay bale technique when I suture, so I sutured around the meniscus to the capsule. And the idea is that the, the weight and the weight bearing itself will form this transplant to become more wedge shaped like a normal meniscus. And this is a, an example of a patient, patient number five with an MRI after five months. And you can see to the left that it's sort of wedge shaped meniscus on the sagittal view. And you can see the bone tunnel for the posterior root um, on the picture to the right. Another patient was re-arthroscoped after six months due to some uh, extension deficit. She was also ACL revised at the same time as the meniscus substitution and we removed some scar tissue but then we could actually also examine the new meniscus and as you can see there were a capillary ingrowth and I saw a synovial coverage of the transplant and it was sort of wedge-shaped when you looked into the knee. The COOS results uh, for 12-month follow-up, as you can see here, they, most of them improved. And uh, as a group, you can see that there was a significant improvement from pre-operative values to 12-month values. Looking at the global score, you can appreciate that of these first seven patients, uh, five were significantly improved after 12 months and after 24 months, so far only six patients have been followed up. And you can see that at least two thirds have been significantly improved after uh, this procedure. And they were also improved in terms of Lysolm score so in conclusion, autologous semitendinosus tendon could potentially be an option for meniscus substitution in selected cases. And graft survival is promising at 12 and 24 months, but patient selection is very important and beware of too much OA and high BMI. And the two failures that we had in this series were actually too much OA in one case and high BMI in the other case. And um, Finally, we uh, concluded that so far about two thirds of these cases that I've done have been significantly improved over two years. But this obviously has to be continued and we will see what happens to the next few patients coming up. And I would like to take the opportunity to invite you all to the 20th ESCA Congress now in Paris to meet the spring. It's a face-to-face -face Congress, and it's the first face-to-face -face Congress after the pandemic. Full of lectures, world-class scientific program. A very warm welcome to Paris in April. Thank you. Bye-bye.